Hi guys, today I am going to show you how to install the loopback address in Windows 10 operating system. That is the latest operating system which was available in the market. So let's go and install the loopback address. So I am going to open the command prompt and here I am going to type So this is the command which you need to use to install the loopback address. So I'm going to type hdwwiz and hit enter. I just open opened and now I'm just going to add the hardware here you just need to select next and here I'm just going to select install the hardware that I manually select from the list select it and select next and here you can see the drivers which was predefined that is by default which is available in the Windows 10 operating system so here I'm going to select network adapters and select next and here you can see it was retrieving the list of all devices that is the network devices which is available by default in the Windows 10 operating system so you can see here like Fortinet PPPOP WAN adapter Intel you can see here Intel Gigabit Network Corporations connections and more drivers are available here like Intel Corporation, Marvels, Microsoft, Oracle and Samsung. So in this I am going to select Microsoft and here you can see like you can see the Hyper-V virtual adapters, generic virtual network adapters, Bluetooth device. Microsoft 64 adapters, Hyper-V network adapters, so more adapters are available here. In this models, I am just going to select Microsoft KM Test Loopback Adapter. Just select this adapter and select Next. And you can see the adapter which was ready to install here. Just select Next and uh, Installation is started and it is going on. Let's wait and see. So this adapter was more and more useful for the networking guys to test within the environment that is inside the host operating system. and the software is installed successfully so I'm going to select finish let's check it so there are more tunnel adapters which was installed here Just go to the network options, change adapter settings, and here you can see this. So, here you can see the adapter was installed successfully and it was in working condition. Here you can see the status properties. both uh, version 4 and version 6 was available and the Fortinet client was also available VirtualBox VMware Bridge was also available Bridging Network was also available so you can use this for testing your 
network environment and it might be useful for the networking guys who are all watching the videos specifically these kind of videos and thank you for watching the video